Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another video. I am iPro Hobby, and today, as you can probably tell by my notebook here, we are going to be playing some more Payne's Creek Killings. So last time we left off by going through Wanda Tyler's house and the hospital. So today I think we are going to go and check out the mansion. First things first, now that I know that we have a map, we can see how to get there. So we are currently, where are we? That's the real question. Um, okay. I came from this way. So if we go over here, let's head back out of this little section the way we came and see what roads we have. So we have Silver Lake Boulevard and Maple Drive. So this is where we are. Okay, so we just need to go follow Maple Drive to get to the mansion. Cool. So this way. Interesting. Okay, so genuinely, honestly, also, everyone, I need to know if you are enjoying this series. Because if not, I can find something else to play and finish this on my own time. So let me know what you think of this series so far in the comments down below. And we will go from there. Eerie. Alright. I guess we'll just head straight in. Ugh. Nice family picture. What's this? Dr. Henry Johnson found drowned in vehicle at bottom of Cherry Creek Lake. Body submerged in water for as long as 15 days. Burgundy car was found at the bottom of Cherry Creek Lake yesterday afternoon. Summer, who chose to remain anonymous, said he was diving in the lake when he saw what appeared to be a red car glittering at the bottom of the lake. He swam towards the vehicle and was shocked to see a body in the driver's seat. He quickly called the police. Three hours later, the vehicle was pulled out of the lake and the body was identified as Dr. Henry Johnson. Based on the police report, the body has been in the water between 10 and 15 days. Payne's Creek Community Hospital confirmed that Dr. Johnson last checked in on June 28, 1995. The hospital staff assumed he had left Payne's Creek for business purposes, which Dr. Johnson was known to do rather privately. Huh. Let's get a picture of this. And make some notes. Anything over here? Ooh. October 16, 1973. From Jackson and Lewis. Dear Mrs. Roberts, on behalf of Jackson and Lewis, we would like to thank you for appointing us to be Payne's Creek Community Hospital's medical provider. With your husband, Mr. Charles Roberts, running for mayor, some might consider this partnership to solely be for the benefit of his status. On the contrary, it also greatly benefits us as your supporting funds allow us to continue our research and assisting our elderly patients. Okay. Let's go back over here. It's like a library. Oh, yeah, a map of the second floor. I will take that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much else in here. Oh. Okay, well, don't think I have that code. I forget how to view my pictures. Aha, there we go. Oh, gallery. Oh, what was this? Oh, another diary. March 14th, 1993. We went hunting this afternoon. Scott's quite a fast learner and has good manners too. I told him to call me Charles, but he kept saying it's more appropriate to call me Mr. Roberts. Okay, so this is Charles' diary. And he's hanging out with Scott. Scott was mentioned in the last one. Someone said he seemed pretty sus about the killing of the doctor. Yeah, Dr. Johnson. He almost got the deer on his second try. If he keeps this up, I'll take him over. I'll take him over Bernard as my hunting. Oh, I'll take him over Bernard as my hunting partner. I got it. Trisha's. Oh, June 11th. Uh, Trisha has been obvious in her interests. He's a good looking young man and respectful to others. I don't mind his status. There's nothing wrong with being an orphan. <laughs> 
If there is, it's the parents' fault. Yeah. I know that Trisha fancies him. I've grown to like him too. August 27th. Today is mom's death anniversary. It's been 18 years Ooh, since she passed away. I paid my respects at her tombstone. Vivian wasn't feeling well and chose not to come, so I asked Scott to accompany me. He brought fresh lilies. He said lilies suggest that the soul of the deceased has returned to a peaceful state. Sometimes I feel like he's a son to me. Now that I think about it, Vivian is always getting sick during this time of the year. Um, September 8th. I knew our relationship would not be as close as we had it, but ever since Vivian discovered my affair, she hasn't been the same. She once joked to her friends during a dinner that all politicians are alike, and as a politician's wife, she has learned to close one eye. Sometimes I feel sorry for her. I think it was because of Trisha that she didn't leave me. She is a good wife and a good mother. I'm grateful for that. Well, that's spicy. So, Mayor Roberts was cheating on his wife. But with who? What's in here? Oh. Oh. Just stairs. Ah, a nice little Jimmy Jim. What's this? Ships. <clears throat> we have a key from Bernard's locker. Oh. I forgot to return the servant's room key in time, so I left the key in the kitchen drawer. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. So the servant's room key. The same kitchen drawer. All well, those were locked. Ooh, a bar. This is from March 3rd, 1993. 20 years later, Paints Creek still honors the lives of coal mine workers. Ooh. Da Vinci Wine Service. Damn, that's some expensive wine. Alright. What do we have here? Sheet to count scores. Anything out here? Oh, security room. What's this? Oh, you're also locked. Oh, notes for T Vivian's tea schedule. All right, well, I think I'm done up here. Laundry. Anything? Ooh, looks like another diary. Well, that's a lot to read. <coughs> okay, so Bernard is butler. And Dorothy is a maid. Ooh, and Father Matthew adopted Scott. So whose diary was that? Oh, Mary Martinez. That must have been who M was. Okay. So Mary Martinez. Do I have her name anywhere else? I don't, so... She's also a maid. Alrighty. Let's go back here. Anything? No, that's just cleaning supplies. Ooh, shopping list for Trisha's birthday. And looks like Mary wrote this too. Oh, I didn't mean to click on it again. Oh, key. Oh, that must be the um servant's room key. was left in there. Anything else? Oh, a note. Anyone delivering food to church on Saturdays, please lock all the doors and return the key to the flower pot before leaving. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so is this the servant's room then? Haha. -ha. Looky here. TV. Ooh, another diary? This one's from 95, so I also like everyone was dying. So it sounds like Derek and Wanda used to live in the mansion because I think Wanda used to be a maid. Ooh, we have a new address. For Dorothy. Faint click right before he left. Painting of a- so it sounds like we need to check out this painting of an old woman. Alright, we got an achievement. There's a ripped out page. Looks like... Vivian didn't have some- had some enemies in the town. Oh, wait a minute. Need to report Scott to Bernard. His suspicious acts are getting out of hand. 
Today I saw him peeking into Mr. and Mrs. Roberts' room from the window. He's been told many times now not to do this. Okay, that one is interesting. All right, I'm glad we found that one. All right, now I need to remember how to get to the gallery so that we can check out that painting. How did I get to the, oh, here we go. Where is she? Aha, there she is. Oh. Oh, there's a safe. Ugh, we don't have the combination. Dang it. Okay, well, I don't really think there's much else we can do in this house now. So I guess we leave. Close the door behind us. So we're so nice. Ugh. I hate the sound of that gate. All right, I think we're gonna end this part right here. I think that's a good stopping point since the mansion was so big and took so long to go through. So, like I said before, let me know if you're enjoying this series in the comments down below. If you are, don't forget to also like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.